I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup. Nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral site showdown. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Navy Midshipmen. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Irish offense will take the field to start this game. These rivalry games can really... Back to pass, it's Leonard. They're bringing heat. And the pass rush. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And he was hit. Trying play action. And they got him for the sack. And you're seeing the pass rush on the second play of the drive. They dial it up. Look at the speed and athleticism this defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. Third down conversion is tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. On the move, it's Horvat. Now improvising. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip it. And the ball's out, and they're after it. Now the defense has got it going the other way. Ball by himself down the middle. Running inside the 20. Touchdown by the Irish. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. And that's just the guy you want. Who do you want to get it? One of your little fast guys. The defensive back picks it up and turns on the afterburners. Takes it all the way back for the touchdown. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David. And, get... and the pressure gets... Oh, it might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. They'll run it out of the shotgun. At the 40, there he goes. Powers through. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37.
dropping back. It's Leonard coming after him. He'll pull it down. They finally get him. Running back searching for a hole. Can't quite. This guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and... starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now, you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. Up a second down. He leaves it with the back. Got the first down. Looking for more. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. He's up to that one and has him set up first and 10 at the 42. They'll toss it to the left. Breaks the tackle. Still running at the 40. The expressway is wide open. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. And coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. It's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Really nice job with the patience by the wide receiver there on that route. Working against man coverage in the perimeter of the field, he knows exactly where he needs to get and at what time he needs to be there so that when he turns around, the ball's there and they get the first. here in the first half as they take over first and ten. He's going to pass. Extending the play. He'll try to do it himself. He turns this into it. They're going to head out the lineup for a field goal. And very important not only to generate power but to find his mark. A 49-yard try from the left. No good. After the miss, field goal still down by 21 points, guys. They go to the ground. And after that short game, they'll head to the locker room for halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. All right, Kevin about possessions, and it's getting late. The play action fake. Slings it. Fires into traffic. Picked off. He can be dangerous with the ball in his hands, but no room to return that pick, and they'll go on offense from the 21. Rain, sleet, snow, sun shining. I don't care. I get interceptions. Give me that rock.
toss to the outside. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, the Fighting Irish. And the pummeling has started. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through into long games, because of his ability after the catch, it's so... And the ball is picked off! Oh, it's a fumble! Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. What a roller coaster on that play, Palmer. The defense gets the interception, and then he fumbles the ball trying to return him, but a heads-up play to fall on the football and in the end create the turnover. It's amazing, dude. How about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? They're trying to get to it. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. This has been a frustrating day, and I'm not sure it's going to get any better. You're already down huge. Listen, this offense can't protect this quarterback. They don't do anything right right now. This defense has had their number all game long. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Got him downfield, and he goes down right there. Here we go. From the red zone, looking for a man. Going for six. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And the beatdown has ensued. Cares about the double coverage. Just get it in there. Give your guy a chance. And it worked out that time. And the receiver would definitely agree with you. It's a little bit risky. Throw it in traffic. But trust your guy. You know, he's going to go up and make a play in the end zone. You can tell you've thrown that ball to him. And you trust him. And he goes and rewards you for it. On the run, it's Leonard. Dances away to buy time. Gonna throw it to the right. In the football, you can uh, make sure that you're playing it safe and conservative, or you can just go for rubbing in your face, eat that. You know, I don't like the other. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown! And the route is on. They'll be a little more comfortable now as they close in on extending this winning streak. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves. Looking to throw, it's Horvath. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Yeah, and this defense just putting the cherry on top of the Sunday. They, they've been all over the place. They've done a great job. Their offense has built a huge lead. We're just counting down the minutes on the clock now. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. Steps away. He'll pull it down and run. At the 35, he's loose. Just trucks through it. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the... Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the field? I know a lot's went wrong, but, like, let's live in this moment and try to be great right here to end the game. What a disappointment. No good. Guys, after this dominating performance, I guess the head coach wanted to be able to yell at the special teams coordinator. Looking downfield, it's Horvat. Getting some heat. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. And when you're on defense, it's wet, it's rainy. You know exactly what time it is. That ball gets a little heavier. It gets a little slicker. You're trying to get to that thing. You know you get your hand on it. There's a good chance it's coming out. Nice job on the clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. The running back has it. And they'll pick up just a few on this run, and that'll bring us to the end of the ball game. You know what's great about rivalry games? 
Each side hates every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Figuratively speaking, of course, and when you win, oh, oh, oh is that sweet. It's glorious to, to be able to brag, to be able to text message your buddies, to be able to post stuff on social media. It's a lot of fun. I think fans like it more than anybody, but it's something that you every year you have a couple games starred. This was one of them, Jesse. They took care of business, and now you move on to the next. They really did, and we saw some great individual efforts in this game by the winning team, too. So cool to see some of these players that have had terrific collegiate careers make some of the biggest plays of their lives in this game, in a rivalry game that just means so much. This was a fun one to call. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long.